Hey everyone, Nurse Jolly here. I just wanted to take this opportunity to do a quick training on the new epinephrine auto injector that I do have on campus. Um, this is not a full training. I know I spend an hour with my staff every year uh, doing specifically epinephrine um, training and the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis, but I did want to just take this opportunity to show you what, uh, what new auto injector has come out. So anaphylaxis, you know, again, just as a refresher is just a severe allergic reaction that is life threatening. Um, it can be uh, anything typically from here to here is kind of what I like to use as a guideline for when you might need epinephrine. Um, anything from swelling of the tongue, you know, clearing their throat, especially if they're little, they might, <clears throat> or they might tell you something funny, like their mouth feels funny, or it feels like they have ants in their mouth. Trouble breathing, breathing fast, um, you know, saying they feel like they can't catch their breath. But again, um, that's just the quick list. Epinephrine is the medication that helps with that. Remember, whenever in doubt, epinephrine is always the right answer. They say epi first, epi fast. By giving epinephrine quickly, um, you are helping that person, you know, get to an emergency care setting by waiting a little bit too long to give the epinephrine, sometimes your outcome might not, might not be as good. So whenever in doubt, epinephrine is always the right answer. And whenever you give epinephrine, you automatically call 911 and they need to go to the hospital. Um, by giving epinephrine, you know, I get the question a lot, what if I give epinephrine to someone who doesn't need it, if it's prescribed for them, um, the risk of giving it to someone who doesn't need it, they're gonna feel like, I like to equate it to having five or 10 cups of coffee. You know, you're super shaky, your heart's racing, you might feel pretty anxious, but epinephrine wears off pretty fast. The risk of waiting too long to give it is much greater than giving it if they don't need it. So remember, epi first, epi fast, automatic 911 call and hospital visit. So the brands of epinephrine auto injectors that people are most familiar with are EpiPens. This was the first brand that was out and EpiPen is now almost considered synonymous with epinephrine auto injector. Some people use EpiPen for any kind of auto injector. Um, it's kind of like Band-Aid or Kleenex. People use the term Band-Aid even if they're using any other sort of adhesive strip uh, on their skin. So these are EpiPens. This is a trainer, it's gray. This is what a generic uh, epinephrine auto injector looks like it's in a tube with two sides and here's the trainer for that quick refresh this is what an AvaQ looks like the different colors are just different doses the gray is the trainer this is the one that talks to you and the new one specifically I wanted to talk about is Tiva Tiva is the new one to hit the market they come in green or I believe the other one is orange again just different doses and this is the trainer all of the epinephrine auto injectors, it doesn't matter if it's a trainer or the real one, they all have directions on the side. So if you're not sure, always look at your auto injector and it'll tell you exactly what to do. The Tiva specifically, the manufacturer says the bottom cap is a twist cap. Um, when it comes, they have the sticker attached so you can tell it hasn't been used. But again, this is my trainer, no needle, no medication. So it says twist on the bottom. What you do is you just twist the cap off the bottom and it still has the blue safety cap like our EpiPens do. If you don't take the blue safety cap off, you cannot administer this medication. And again, if you're not sure if it's not working right, just look at the directions on the side. You take the blue safety cap off and I now have a live epi epinephrine auto injector. Whenever you practice, you wanna practice like you're gonna do it for real. You always wrap your thumb around the auto injector. Never ever please practice by putting your thumb over the top because in an emergency, if you're super nervous, you might accidentally have the auto injector the wrong way. Have your thumb over the hot zone, the orange edge. I like to call that the hot zone, the end you don't wanna to touch and um, inject epinephrine into your thumb. Um, if you do that, you also have to go to the hospital to the emergency room. So wrap your thumb. You administer all auto injectors the same. If I was gonna give it to myself, it is always on the side of the leg my arm would just go straight down to the side, not the front of my leg, not to my buttocks, not to my arm, not to my abdomen, not anywhere else. It always goes straight down to the side of my leg and I'll push until I hear and feel a click. Three, two, one, release. 
when I've done that, I also massage with any epinephrine auto injector. I massage for 10 seconds. That helps the medication be absorbed quicker. The orange end of my auto injector on this one and the EpiPen will come out and cover the needle. It's a safety. It also lets you know it's a visual that you have given the medication. If the orange end doesn't come out, you have not given that medication check. You might have left your blue safety cap on. So I've given this Epi First, Epi Fast. It's an automatic 911 call and an emergency room visit. Please remember this training is not a substitute for medical advice. Um, it's for education purposes only. And typically we do spend an hour on this training. Um, so this definitely won't answer you know, all of your questions, but I did at least want to show you what the new pen looks like. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. We all um, probably know someone or have someone in our class or maybe even ourselves um, have an epi epinephrine auto injector. There's a lot that uh, training that goes into that, and I am happy to help you with any specific questions that you have. Um, I hope you all have a great day, and I hope this was helpful.